Okay, so the back of the Bondo is setting up. I already started uh, uh, running a few beads up here. Uh, one of the uh, spur that the guy wanted to put on here. Um, and this is our uh, beard hanger. So what I usually do too is just twist that yarn up. Start it in through the top of the hole. And handy piece of wire. Run that down through, pull it out, and then what I'll do is I'll just tie a knot in the bottom. Maybe make it a double one. So just a little bit extra so it don't come back through. Like that, and I'll trim the end off. Alright, let me pull that back in as you can hopefully see there. Then what I will do is fill that with uh, the hot glue. Not completely full but about three quarters of the way full. And then this was the beard he also had. And we'll just take and press it down in. So, and just let the glue cool and dry. Then what we'll do is we'll work on the other side with putting the, I'll show you how to put the feather on there, the larger beads. We'll slip down over the quill of the feather. And again, if you want to add to it, uh, or make it that you can add spurs uh, also, you know, from your other birds. And uh, it's another reason why, let's go ahead and pull these down to that, and you can pull this through to give you a little bit extra uh, yarn, and then after you get it where you want it, then you can adjust your string. And then that's when I'll glue the uh, pieces of the uh, turquoise. But at this point, what we'll do is I'll go ahead and thread some more of the beads on. And again, however you want to do it, random. We're putting the beads the same colors as they went on the other side. Right, and he also had stickies are off of two different birds. Yeah, there they are. Another spur. Obviously, you just drill that out. Take your wire and push the yarn through again. Again, the kit comes with so many beads, uh, and then you can, I mean, if you want to get more of your own or whatever. Uh, the kit also comes with a, uh, the white turkey feather that has a tip uh, that is uh, black, make it look like an eagle feather. Um, but, uh, this one here actually uh, a, a guy had two other white feathers that he said was sentimental to him that we're gonna put on all right now now once you got the other smaller beads on with the spur then I will run uh, these large beads on
take and trim this end off again. Then what we'll do is we'll take one of these feathers and uh, run a little bit of hot glue on it because it'll wind up pushing down. And uh, if the uh, end sticks out, that's fine. You can trim it off later. I'll show you how to do that. But what this will do, these beads fit down over. Let's slide it down. And again, that glue will push down through. And what we'll do is we'll trim that off after it sets. We'll do this next one here. These ones here I'll usually just wipe off. Again, it's a little hot, but clean that up later. one right at the end of the quill. And then like I said you could adjust this down if you want whichever one you want to hang lower or same way. And that will hold that feather on. Stuff sticking out on the end. Just take the knife. And try not to cut yourself. Usually my wife says when I come back into the house, are you done or did you cut yourself? She has no faith in me. All right, so you got to uh, adjust to that. Again, this was be pretty well set. Take that off. The bondo on the back. And again, if you got any spots where you may have scratched the paint, a lot of, sometimes you could just take in uh, uh, a sharpies or some uh, brown acrylic paint and just touch it up. Uh, that will be how and then again like I said if you want to adjust one to hang lower than the other um, you can do that um, and again on the back side here what I'll normally do also is I'll, I'll trim some of these feathers off that way I can it'll make it fl more flush also. And then uh, like I said with this one here, what I don't normally use is this uh, no tilt hanger. 
and I will usually go one side into the face and one side into the bondo for the four screws. And again you want to uh, uh, pre-drill or I also have the uh, self-tapping screws so I've been lucky with those so far I haven't split nothing but you can just go right in and I'll normally start up in the corner you know, and then uh, I'll hang it on the, on the screw on the wall just to make sure that it looks the position I want it to go in. So, But at that point, again that's, that's up to you how to you want to hang it. But I will take and uh, figure where we want these to hang like so. And then uh, at that point, because then once you glue these turquoise pieces on and that string will pretty much stay where you glue it. Alright, so that was pretty quick and uh, in a nutshell of how to mount that. And again, I'll usually leave these on, uh, the tape on for a while, uh, let it dry, uh, and uh, and then you can peel it off. Obviously, try and go in the direction of the feathers, then you can go back and preen them again, also. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to call me. Uh, numbers on the website, also, for Outlaw Skulls, and uh, you can get all the supplies there. Thank you.